Considering the fact that it comes with 685 billion parameters, a 128,000 token context window, and a benchmark score that destroyed Claude's Opus 4 while it was running on a cost that was 69 times cheaper than its counterpart, it's fair to say that DeepSeek's new AI model is impressive. Considering the fact that it was dropped without any warning, it seems as though ChatGPT may have one heck of a competitor. With that in mind, let's take a look at XX, DeepSeek's new AI model. Capacity To be honest, DeepSeek didn't really need to promote Thor's new AI model because its numbers spoke for itself. With a 71.6% score on the ADARE programming benchmark, it's fair to say that DeepSeek 5 3.1 was attractive to those who got wind of its score. After all, it had just toppled Claude's Opus 4 from the top spot, and as such, the developers had to check this brand new AI model out for themselves. And boy, were they impressed. Let's start off with how using the AI model seems to be a lot more cost-effective to developers who use it to carry out coding tasks. Whereas such tasks would cost about $70 with closed source tools, DeepSeek V3.1 only costs $1 for enterprises or startups that run thousands of tasks every day. Then there is that 685 billion parameter and that 128,000 token context window that we mentioned at the beginning of the video. With these features, you'd find that the V3.1 is capable of taking care of huge inputs without slowing down. When we put this in the context of Chinese characters, it works out to about 100 to 160,000. This is about the same as one sixteenth of a dream of Red Mansions, an 18th century Chinese novel authored by Cao Xuekin, which is considered to be one of the four great classic novels of Chinese literature. Considering such a great capacity to handle tasks, people decided to put the AI model to the test by throwing massive texts at it. To their delight, it actually was able to handle these tasks at breathtaking speeds. This was really impressive, especially when you remember how other AI models tend to slow down when they handle the same load that the 3.1 had to work with during those tests. Looking to understand how the V3.1 is able to move with such impressive speed, these developers decided to take a look under the hood. That is when they discovered that it wasn't just scaled up. They then realized that it was actually optimized. Turns out that DeepSeek used this AI model to introduce what they have described as a hybrid architecture. This was a truly impressive revelation, because in the past, similar hybrid attempts usually didn't turn out well. Sure, they could do some chatting, reasoning, or coding, but it just let everyone down when it came to other aspects of being such an AI model. As such, maybe we can now see how truly remarkable the V3.1 is. It is the representative of the first IM such an idea has actually been pulled off. With the V3.1 now being the default model, we can see how DeepSeek appear to have put all their faith into one flagship system. With some more analysis of the AI system, it was discovered that there were four hidden tokens within the system. The first two were labeled as Search Begin and Search End, tokens that were used for real-time research. Then there were Think and End Think that were developed for internal reasoning. With these features, V3.1 shows its capacity to think internally before giving the user the answer they were looking for. To make things better, it shows that the AI model is also able to scan the internet for the information it needs to get its tasks done. Benchmarks. As you can imagine, this is another attractive feature that will draw users in. Now they can make use of a model that is capable of native reasoning and native search. To make things even better for the new AI model, we refer again to the benchmarks that show how remarkable the V3.1 is. Just look at how well it did on SVG Bench, a benchmark that tests the visual and structural reasoning of these AI models. On the benchmark, we found that it barely got outsourced by GPT 4.1 Mini. However, it beat DeepSeek's R1 by a large margin, thereby showing how much better DeepSeek has been able to achieve since the time their last AI model was released. SVG Bench wasn't the only benchmark that was used to measure the capacity of V3.1. 
When we looked at the MMLU benchmark, a benchmark that has been recognized as the standard test for broad language understanding, we found that V3.1 did well when compared to GPT-5. That is pretty outstanding when you consider all the buzz OpenAI caused in the AI industry upon its release a few weeks back. Sure, GPT-5 still outsourced V3.1 when it came to graduate-level Q&A as well as advanced software engineering, but you have to admit that V3.1 did very well, especially as the difference wasn't by that much. Costs and timing of the launch Another reason people have been attracted to this AI model since its sudden recent release was how cost-effective it was. These days, it's fair to say that money is tight, and as such, AI researchers have pitted out that the numbers speak for themselves here as well. Outscoring Opus 4 by 1%, with a score of 71.6% on Otter, was great, but the fact that it was 68 times cheaper than Claude's AI model is actually crazy. Then there was the manner in which it was released. He must remember that its competitors had just released their own AI models a few weeks ago, with OpenAI just releasing ChatGPT5 perhaps being the most prominent of these recent releases. With these AI models having their state-of-the-art frontier systems locked behind APIs with premium pricing, DeepSeek may have carried out a stroke of genius here with their own sudden release especially as they decided to make their model free. In the very least, it tells the world that unlike the American companies who guard their frontier systems as though it was intellectual property, DeepSeek is willing to treat its frontier model as though it was public infrastructure. When we look into it, we find that this move is suited towards the Chinese national strategy. For those in the know, you may remember that a few years ago, they embarked on a five-year plan which made it clear that it was in support of open source AI. What they had in mind was to accelerate the adoption of their AI models all over the world by making it convenient for everyone that used the AI model. They knew that it may cost them now, but in the long run, they would be able to reap the rewards of this move. Looking at the situation now, it looks as though this approach was not bad at all. Right now, Hugging Face's trending list is only talking about Chinese releases. It gets even better for V3.1 because as at this moment, it is one of the most prominent topics on the platform. To make things even better for the V3.1, it has been revealed that the developers community are also reacting well to the AI model. This is why the powers that be at Hugging Face have gone on record to say that open source AI is currently at its peak with V3.1 standing out as one of the models that made them make this claim. To be honest, this seems to be on brand with DeepSeek. Remember when they released the V3? Remarkably, they revealed that the training of the AI model only cost them about $5.6 million because they made use of 2,000 slower NVIDIA chips. Whatever works for you guys because this was something that was considered to be impossible. Before this revelation, people actually believed that hundreds of millions of dollars must be needed to train frontier systems. As you can imagine, this was bad news for NVIDIA because this cost them about $600 billion in one single day. That must have been such a nightmare, but the powers that be curbed this by banning the use of the chatbot version of DeepSeek. They feared that the user data would sit on Chinese servers, well, in the time that's passed, DeepSeek have shown that V3.1 will be different. For starters, V3.1 is not just a chatbot. It is actually an open model that's been released to the world. Furthermore, the costs of developing such a model is set to make it stand out because it will outprice its competitors out of the market. Despite this, there are certain limitations to this AI model. Due to its costs, for example, its full model is limited to just about 700 gigabytes. This means that most people will be unable to run it locally. That said, developers are already working on a hosted version that will remove that barrier before we know it. With a growing user base, it is clear that this V3.1 might be here to push the ante when it comes to such AI models.
Faster, cheaper, and capable, this may be just the AI model for you.